Welcome back everyone. I just said we have a little bit of a mystery run and here is our mystery run. It is Mr. Driller Drill, Dr Mr. Driller Drill Land from Pitchy. Pitchy, take it away. Hi there, it's me, Han Dogmon. I ran this game at Australian Speedrun Marathon earlier in the year and it was a nightmare. So since we need something to fill some time due to the extremely efficient King Kong, the movie, the game that we just had, I'm here to ruin the schedule entirely with this game again. Yes, we want to erase our data. I will count us in for the timer. Five, four, three, two, one, start. So, Mr. Driller Drill Land. This is the fourth Mr. Driller game in the series. Originally a GameCube exclusive. This is now available on everything. Your Switch, your PS4, your Xbone, your Series S, your Series X, your PC. Your, your, your PC that's a Switch thing that you haven't bought yet because it's not out yet. And unlike at last time where I did things in a different order to make the game more comprehensible to people who have never seen it before, we're going in with the problem section first, which is how this game is normally run. You see, the Hall of Juraga, a tribute to the Namco classic The Tower of Juraga, is extremely RNG heavy. If this goes well... I should check the map, by the way. Okay, I need to go to the right first, which is... Oh, Oh, do, do, do. Right there, right there. Nice. Oh, and it's going to make me waste a bunch of HP. Beautiful, thanks. Thanks, video games. So, we need to acquire five red blast color gems. Hopefully, this knight will give us one. Without us getting crushed by the cross block. Oh, this is going to be bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Come on. One more hit. Going to have to take a bunch of damage here. So, we have already got two out of the five blast colors that we need. Because that is what is required to defeat Juraga in this route. But before we can face Juraga, we need to access Juraga that requires a key. So, we need to find where the key is first. We have not seen where the key is, nor even the door that we need to unlock. So, we're going to have to keep exploring this randomly generated dungeon until we find it. We also have some extremely good music to enjoy. Oh, no! Fortunately, being crushed in traditional arcade Mr. Driller, that would cost you one out of your three lives. In this mode, it just depletes your HP gauge because this game can go for a long while. We have a maximum boost item. This increases our maximum HP. We are going to use that just to have that extra bit of survivability. These green potions we're picking up are HP. We spend one HP every time we drill something in this mode. Last cross, that is not what I need. I do need to go to the bottom of this screen, though, in order to get the key which is going to require slaying a dragon let's move out of the way of these blocks so anytime that bricks fall because there's no longer anything underneath them it will set off a chain reaction and they will further clear blocks if there are four or more blocks at a time we're going to be just kind of moving around and facing a dragon so if we've got any donations then now is a good time uh, would just like to plug the next incentive that we've actually got coming up for Super Mario World in a six bonus race, which will be raced immediately after the in the donors co-op co run, which is coming up <laughs> very shortly. We're currently this is some powerful currently, Australian Mario. It is yes. Oh, wow. We're currently at a two hundred fifty out of seven hundred dollars. Look, I've seen well over fifteen hundred dollars be raised in an hour, so I think we can do that. Exclamation mark! Donate if you want to get involved. Make sure you check your uh, incentive in the donation comments. Excellent. So now we are at the dragon. What happens is every time we slash this dragon, it will go Meow! and then do a clear of blocks and then drop a bunch more, which can unfortunately do a lot of crushing. Each time you're crushed, that's 20% of your life gone and you need that life to live. We've got some life recovery gems which are going to make this a bit more convenient, thankfully, as we swat away few more hits to deal with this dragon. This is actually a green dragon. Usually they're white, which you cannot do anything with. We could spend this destroy green, but since I don't have an excess of destroy color gems, we are going to do this slowly and patiently to make sure that we actually get the clear this time. Okay. The daughter Draga is just going to be to the left of this room, most likely. We're playing through this game on the level one difficulty which is one of the two main all-runs all categories this game has. There's also single-segment single, single segment categories. Because it is basically four times longer to do the level three difficulty category because uh, the run, it is four times longer to do it. So it's actually more than four times because 
Level 2 difficulty is twice as long as level 1. And this... Oh, no. I'm running low on life, which is a concern. We'll see how many potions we get. This max boost will help. This try drill will also help. Green... Yeah. We have a lot of yellows, and we have a recolor yellow. Excellent. We actually have everything we need. And we have a potion. Oh, gonna take a bit to... Oh, no, no. I may have broken this, though. Oh, how do I do this? So... Destroy green going to help me? Maybe. Let's see what chain reactions this do. I was twitching around too much there and may have broken this. So we got... Oh, yeah, that actually broke it. Alright, alright, we do have to retry this. This is an unfortunate consequence of this mode. It is... This section is the worst part of Drill Land, and it's what makes this the biggest threat to running this in a marathon. But, you know, it's marathons. that what we're here for. The drama, the... The pain, the suffering. Okay, we got a red blob there I would like to hit. This run. Let's check that map while we're here. Okay, so the door that we need to unlock is directly below us. We we found one of the keys to victory. This blob is getting closer. Now I'm going to be able to whack it. Two hits to deal with the blob. It just squashed us. That's fine, we're right near a health potion. Okay, we've got a yellow blast there. Just gonna get this down. One here. Two reds and a yellow. We're actually doing very good as far as items we've found, and I need to go to the left. In the meantime, uh, donations always good here, or any other sort of plugs that we got going on. Uh, yeah, I have a nice little plug here for the Discord we have here at, at Oz Speedruns. Uh, if you like what we do here and you want to join in on the community, we have a nice little Discord. If you type exclamation mark Discord into the chat, we have a nice little link to there. Get to hang out with all of us, get updated on future events, get updated on current events, and just hang out with everyone throughout the year. Hmm. Okay, we're progressing. Taking this nice and carefully to make sure that we don't crush ourselves or dig too deeply and too greedily. Much like the Dwarves of Moria. Oh man, that's an unfortunate pickup on that last green that I grabbed. The 1%, the lowest HP you can possibly gain. Oh, don't want to get stepped on either. Oh no, that is <laughs> not good. Certainly not our day, that's fine. That's Okay. Oh, lucky. Lucky indeed. You said it, Anna. We're actually re getting really good red drops here, but I na now need the green. Alright, there's a green. Come on. Come on. Oh, game. Video games. We need to really... We really need to get some greens here. So I need to dig as efficiently as I can. Watching, there's no timer continually ticking down. I may also need to use some of these. Because look at this. We've actually got a massive surplus. Alright. We should be able to use some gems if we have to. Do clear down here. So let's get rid of blue. We can't get rid of blue. And clear this yellow. And that will do this for me. And it took out a wizard. Which gave, gave us a yellow utility gem. Always handy. Several greens. Nice. We got this. We got a barrier. Which is going to protect us in the event that we get crushed. For one hit. As we make our way down to the dragon. These, the, the wizards are a nuisance. Because they turn blocks into white blocks. Which do not connect to anything. Uh, I guess I technically got crushed there. Huh. To take care of this guy as well. Just to make sure he doesn't cause any problems while we're dealing with the dragon. Try drill lets us clear three blocks every time we dig. Taking it easy. Just make sure. Oh, wow. We actually need to go one more down to get to the dragon. But we should be there now. 
The dragon should be here. Yes, the dragon will be here. So I should probably talk about, uh, I guess, Tower of Duraga, unless we've got some donations. Not at the, pr not the present moment. Go ahead. No worries. As always, thank you to uh, Research for Cancer. My sister had a close run-in with cancer. Fortunately, it turned out to be a benign tumor, but I was a pretty scary there a couple years ago. So Tower of Duraga was a top-down dungeon crawling question mark game at least for the arcades in the very early 80s, was unpopular in the US because it was very difficult to play for score. But it wound up becoming this cult hit in Japan where people would just write down whatever fi findings they had about how on earth the game worked because it had very obtuse rules. They'd just like write on a sheet of paper on the side of any cabinet they found, or any, any stuff they'd worked about how the game is meant to function. And this meant that the game kind of became this iconic piece of games as a collaborative experience okay first hit no i gotta go down here i'm probably oh yeah i've got recolors i'm good and, and when i say choose things it's like oh yeah you've got to destro destroy like three slimes on the first floor in order to get an item which will let you break an extra brick. Or... Stuff like that. And then some of the... Every floor had an item... had a certain rule which would give an item, but some of them were actually penalty items. So you'd go to all this effort to work out the rules, grab the item, and then it would, like, make you lose stuff. Or deal damage to you. Alright, let's get that green life in. Let's up our speed as we can. This will up our movement speed, allowing us to slip through more collapsing stuff in very cheeky ways. Let this life potion fall down on us. Since we are at Juraga, once we get through this door, we should have met all the conditions. So this should actually be, finally, the clear that we've been longing for. And then the rest of this run should be fairly smooth saving. We don't even need to worry about health now. Okay, what do we have? They're starting on yellow. We want red. We do not have recolor red, so we will color them to green. And then we will do destroy green. It's the first hit of five. We really want them to be red. All right, this is a problem. Because we have pretty much entirely destroy reds. Okay, we do have to dig a little bit deeper to try and find the item we need. Okay, we've got a... Another <laughs> destroy red. We need yellow. Or a recolor. Yes, even when we're at the end. <laughs> oh wow, we are getting some real RNG right here. And I just need to focus to make sure I don't get squashed like that. Okay, we've got another red there. Maybe this will be the destroy yellow that we need. We do not want to destroy everything. The cost of life. We are quite low on life at the moment. Oh, we don't want a vertical either. Gonna get through. Yes. Okay, we got we got a blue enemy here. We're about to get crushed by a blue enemy there. And it didn't spawn a blue gem. Wow. Okay, here we go. Another chance. <laughs> what is this game? Oh my goodness me. I really should have... I, I should have gone with the other game option that I had for a bonus game. Blast yellow! Okay, here we go. Blast the yellow. What color? Blue? Do we have blue? 
No, we do not have any blues either. We just need it to become red. <laughs> we are good. <laughs> oh, and we just got crushed. Nice. Just thinking about what we might be able to do if we need to speed this run up. Uh, we can pick up this red and pray that it's a destroyed red. Okay, here we go, everyone. <laughs> okay. Okay, we are going to come back to this, or we might not. We're just going to go through every other section of the, of the game. And I may have to just dig up a VOD to show the ending, if this is how the game's going to be. Uh, management, if you ever need to DM me about things, uh, just shoot me the DM. I'm not looking at the stream chat right now. That's not how my overlay is set up currently. So now we're in the horror section, which is... And you, and you don't botch it. Basically, we pick up holy water so we can inject it into the blocks. And this will allow us to purify bats, turning them into a drill crystal, also known as a dristal. We need to collect a certain amount of these on each floor. Like, we just got two there. We need one more. This is by far the quickest section of this game. As we can see there, we're already two strata down into the third. This one drops a lot more health pickups than holy water for a while. So we're going to be... Moving a bit slow, so now is a good time for donations and plugs if we have any. Oh, bad yeah, time. we have a ten dollar donation from Prophet Black here. He says, "Thanks so much for having me, Oz Sweetums, and thank you, for, thank you everyone for saving Kong." Money goes towards playing Super Monkey Ball in German. For those of you who are brand new here, because I know we have a few new faces right now, uh, we are raising money for Cure Cancer at the moment. If you want to donate, exclamation mark, donate in the chat, or go to donate.ozspeedruns.com. And if you want to see the awesome incentives we have going on right now, like Super Mario World in a six bonus race, you can do exclamation mark incentives or incentives at ospeedrunner.com. Love that in the six. It is exactly what it says on the tin. Mario will get in the six. Can you? Okay. We just got to get one more drizzle on this stratum. There we are. Okay, last section. As you can see, much quicker. This is the sort of pace you usually expect from Mr. Driller. A fast-paced puzzle game with a, a high amount of tension. You're always running at a time limit. And one more Dristal. Yes, we should be getting this right now. There we go. So coming up after the Horror Knight house here, the theming, basically, Mr. Driller had been iterated on a couple of times and they'd really perfected the formula. So this one is just entirely a series of gimmicks with the theming of Disneyland. So we just had uh, the Haunted House, which gets reworked every Halloween to be about Nightmare Before Christmas. Now we're going to the Indiana Jones ride, which is, of course, one of the better rides at Disneyland original, but it's not the best because that's Space Mountain. And we'll be getting to Space Mountain in a while. The gimmick here with the Indy is, of course, boulders. Various traps, but particularly the boulders are the big concern here. We have a max... We can basically take two misses. Two boulders are allowed to hit us. Or just bricks from poor play. And otherwise, we need to make sure that we collect 20 idols on our way down. Basically, there's five on each floor, so... You can skip the final section if you grab all the idols before then. Gonna wait for that red one to fall down so he can safely pass. Basically, you move in an S shape when you're avoiding the boulders and you're pretty much gonna be fine. Last idol for this floor. Boom, we now just need to do this four more times and we will be good. Watching out for that yellow. You're allowed to crush the boulders, otherwise they need to hit the ground three times. It will just go the opposite way, and that boulder will never bother us again. Unless something horribly cursed happens, in which case we'll be laughing anyway. Live, laugh, and love. That's Mr. Driller. It's currently we're playing as Mr. Driller's dad, who's actually Dig Dug from the Namco classic, Dig Dug. And that's me running into a boulder. That is what we are here for. Oh, oh, careful, careful. We're safe from the boulder now. There we go. 
Now, usually in Arcade Mystic Driller, there is a certain flaw. Oop. Oh. Which is like this one, where it's only two colors, allowing for huge amounts of clears to happen very quickly. Of course, with this game mode, there's no automatic clearing of blocks. So, gotta be a little bit careful still, but it's still a very good... Have some, have some happy brain chemicals as you watch a big bunch of blocks just get cleared instantly. Like, you know, like the, like the fever mode in Puyo Puyo. Whoop, whoop, careful. That Honeywa, yes. Now this floor, we had just have spike traps in addition to the boulders. Fortunately, the boulders aren't really, like, load-bearing. They're not guarding the idols at this point. So, quite often you can just avoid them entirely. And paying attention to where these are falling so I don't get hit by these spikes. Beautiful. Like, this boulder we can just ignore entirely. We'll say, no thank you, we will leave. Ooh. Gonna hang here just to be safe. We only need one more Honeywa, and we will be on our way to just mash our way through the final floor. Beautiful. Okay, now we just go. We just go. We run. We run so far away. Uh, any donations? Uh, I just want to quickly point out that we have a incentive coming up. Uh, not the Super Mario World incentive. We've got one afterwards. The Fire Emblem Three Houses name Byleth uh, incentive currently has no names submitted so any donation of any amount with any oh. name will put it in the lead oh what a photo finish there got to the end just before the boulder hit me all right moving into the next section star driller So this is the multiplayer mode in Mr. Driller games. It means you've got your basic Mr. Driller formula, but there's also items you can pick up. And some music highly reminiscent of the then airing Gundam Seed. So if you like Gundam soundtracks at the most self-serious and melodramatic, uh, we have you covered. So we need to pick up air. The question marks are the items. So in traditional Mr. Driller, you are continually depleting air. Every time you drill, you will deplete air. Every time you sit around every like second or so you'll lose some air oh you just picked up the low gravity item which drastically slows down the speed at which blocks fall that was a big bang the single best item in this mode because it just clears the screen a bunch the black hole also clears the screen a bunch but if you fall into the black hole you will go back to the start of that stratum without recovering the air that you would have spent getting down there in the first place so we want to be very careful when a black hole happens as always, the other best item is the one where Mr. Driller's mum pops by with a box lunch and a bunch of items. Very cool. Thanks, mum. So, what are the what are some really cool runs that I've missed out so far? I've been very busy this weekend. Uh, you missed out on an incredible Diablo 3 run last night. Uh, it was a three-way co-op race, which also ended up being a brand new world record. Hey! It was, it was beautiful to watch. You also missed a great SpongeBob Battlefield Bikini Bottom rehydrated run. Um, that was a spectacle to see. Plenty of donations rolling through then. Kept me on my toes the whole time. Beautiful. God, what else did we have last night? We had just... We had a beautiful uh, Breath of the Wild race earlier. We had Jack and Daxter race as well with our good friend H's Blue. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 from Nace. We had H's Blue again with World's Hardest Game. Oh yeah, and, that, that game's hard, you know. I hear it's a little. I hear it's a little bit on the hard side, you know. You gotta like collect secret and everything. Exactly. Okay, those cross blocks are gonna clear. Since we are in a more conventional Mr. Driller level. When you get to the later strata, you really need to pay attention to your setups for clearing away cross blocks. Because they cheat deplete a lot of air. And you want to get through them. Like this. This is this setup should work. Yes. 
and we get a bit more air. Which can save a bit of time, just simply because the death animation, while it does refill your air, it is quite slow. But we are probably going to abuse, just, just abuse the death to get through here, particularly because that just happened. Ooh, got forked there and had to dig through a cross block. Same there. Oh, black hole, sit back. Because we do not want to go back to the start, no matter what. Okay, come on, Susumu, fight all, fight all. Nah. That's okay, that's okay. That was only one death. So we're getting through quite quickly, and we got the movement speed up. Nice. Now we can just blaze our way through. A preview for how we're going to be playing in the next section, the the Drill World. World Driller? It's the, it's a small world parody, regardless. Where there's di where we are allowed to choose from the entire multiplayer roster. Mr. Driller is just the all-rounder. Anna is a little bit faster. Susumu's edgy older brother from the horror section is the fastest lateral movement. But we want to use uh, Dig Dug for this one because he is the fastest literal movement. He falls the fastest, which in level one difficulty is what you want. This this robot has two lives per life, and the robot Pucci is capable of moving two blocks up when you when you move up one block. Anyway, the song here absolutely rules. Hope it's getting picked up nice and loud in the stream audio. If not, you at home. Uh, put requests in the chat for me to jack up the audio. Otherwise, we're going to be matching a lot. We just want to get through this as quickly as possible. Early on, we're going to be having lots of ample access to air, though this will get more short as we get deeper into the dig. Closer to the drill world itself. So, in terms of systems and play... There's not much to talk about at this point. We just got to pray that I don't have any major execution flubs. So donate away. Donate. Well, we just had an awesome $20 donation from Megaslayer321A, who, by the way, is running it next. Ooh. Who says, I will continue to try and make the names Hector for Byleth. Good luck on the runs, everyone. Also, I pitched to chat if they had any questions. And uh, Megaslayer actually has a really interesting question. Why does it look so addictive? Because it's an arcade puzzle game that you should play. You can play the original game on PlayStation 1 or Sega Dreamcast. You can play the Game Boy Advance games, which have a larger number of level puzzles to solve. You can play this one on basically every modern platform now. Thanks, Bamco. Oh, this game's great. Like, basically, you get a lot of the satisfaction of clearing lots of items like you wouldn't say a Puyo Puyo. Or a Columns, or what else do the kids like? Uh, the Pokemon Puzzle League, I'll beat you up in Pokemon Puzzle League, do not challenge me in that game. And also, you've got this constant suspense, because you need to be constantly paying attention to what is directly above you and next to you. So as you clear stuff, you need to see, okay, there's something above me that's falling down, can I get it to latch onto the same colour as I'm running down, or do I need to get out of this lane and move to the next? It's this constant thrill of you solving block puzzles, while also moving fast and hitting lots of buttons. You hit so many buttons. Alright, we again we have one life clear. I do wanna have that as insurance. Never mind. Would have liked this to Oh wait, we are on the final strata. We're okay. We're okay. Uh management, let me know if we've got the time if I'm gonna have to call it here and say, hey look, I showed you all the basics and we ignore the final boss. Or if I have another time have the time needed to make that final whole of Juraga attempt. And just send that through to the host, because I'm not looking at the chat. I've just noticed in the chat that uh, when I was talking about the Fire Emblem Three Houses run that is coming up, uh, two names can be submitted for that one. Since there's two runners, two names. So right now we've got one out of the two. Any more donations with any more names get submitted straight through. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, are we using the correct Byleth or are we using male Byleth? Or is that part uh, of the donations as well? I actually don't know. I'll ask the runners for that. 
in the meantime, it looks course. like we have the time to be making one more attempt here. Actually, there is a red enemy there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. No, I'm not. I have I'm heard. Go I've also heard from the little voices in my head. Uh, probably keep this to close estimates. Yep. Basically, we've got to make sure that we achieve it on this run. So, give us your energy, everybody. Pray for the RNG gods to smile upon us. Because, man, I want to show you that ending. It's powerful stuff. Also, again, about incentives, uh, the Inner Six incentive is still $450 away. That we've still got a little bit of time to hit that. I think we could. I really, really think we could. If we all pull together, if we get like a $5 train going and maybe get some maybe get some people going with that, that could kick it off. Still got a lot of work to go with that one. It's a really good meme. Very funny. Definitely worth watching. Okay, let's check that map. We are in the door room. We need to move to the right over there. Uh, we may have missed the boat on that opportunity. Uh, let's find out. Do I have a jump? No? Speaking of incentives also, we yeah, uh, have two that just came through. Nice. We have $20 from Aristowan who says, Is there a pretty wow, wow, pronounced wow, thank you. Uh, and we oh, have, wow! <laughs> we have $30 from Sagas who says, Hey there, just want to donate because cancer sucks. Put this towards the Super Mario World race. P.S. Where do I go to donate red gems to Pinchy? He seems to need them, Bible Thumb. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, wow, wow. So, Pucci, Pucci in this game says wow, wow. Uh, Pucci, wow, wow was also a meme from the Toho 12, the specifically the Australian and Southeast Asian Toho 12.3 Hisou Tensaku community as the leading community leader there has a long history of just interjecting with Pucci Wow Wow. So shout outs to Mr. Driller, shout outs to Toho 12.3. Pretty cool game. Check out the scene. Alright, this should be the dragon room. It is the dragon room. Green, green, red. We need two more destroy colors and we'll be good. Just need to make sure that we get this. Okay, there's a red. Always handy. We have several destroy crosses here that'll help us clear the path. Uh, not if they keep giving us destroy crosses, though. Might as well use another one. And give us easier access to that potion down there. Staying nice and healthy in our life count this time. Just gonna do another one. Why not? Make it easier to clear out the path. See, this is the sorts of dragons you usually get. So I think this one might actually be a blue one. gonna get the key that will fulfill part of it we may have to farm one of the screens a bit just to make sure hello what crushed me oh and a hidden red gem always handy oh don't do this to me game Okay, we got another destroy green. Do we have a change green? Yes, we do. Okay, three greens. I think there were some red gems in the key room. Yes, there are. Always a good sign. Oh no, it's a destroy all. We do not want destroy alls. We want destroy colors. If nothing else... Deal. Be picking up a bunch of health potions along the way. Destroy green. How many of those do we have? We have four of those and one red. Do we have a recolor red? Yes, we do. We are good. We are good. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, everybody. We're gonna finally defeat Druaga. Just need to make our way down to the bottom of the screen, making our way downtown, walking fast. Uh, gray users. Flash and we're homebound. All right, here we go. We're in the Draga room once again. We're going to stand on this cross block. We have a green one. Have you ever played Secret of Mana? Because that's all we're doing. Chain cast to all those greens so they all hit at the same time. And we got the red this time. Boom. Five hits. Draga is defeated. We have de re <laughs> rescued our princess, Mr. Driller. Good job, Anna. Alright, so once you clear out all of the theme park attractions, 
it turns out this was all a nefarious plan uh, by the villain of Mr. Drillogy, uh, Dr. Manhole. And now he's going to try to dig into the Earth's core and cause a volcanic eruption which will destroy the world. We don't want to do that, that to happen. We like to dig, but to protect people. We use our drilling powers for good, so we are going to drill as fast as we can to get into the core here. This only takes like a minute tops. This is actually a pretty slow bit of RNG we're getting because we've got lots of cross blocks. No matter, just go down. They're all dichromatic roots, so it's all very quick like this. You need to reach the center of the drill machine once, like we are about to do, and then it will move faster while drilling again, like so. And then once we reach it a second time, it will be time. So as soon as we hit that big flashing enter target, which is about 10 meters away from us, come on. You actually want to be drilling rather than letting the clear animation play as much as possible. Time. We did it. Ah. That was an ab ah, That was a beautiful run. I'm just gonna say it right now. That was a beautiful run. We had troubles, we had trials, we had tribulations, but we have <laughs> triumphed. Uh, I presume we need to wrap things up, otherwise we can let this cutscene play out and see how Susumu stops the drill machine from drilling. If you want to get a couple of very quick self promotions and stuff like that out. Uh, please donate. Please keep watching. Thank you for watching. Uh, check me out tomorrow morning, 10.45 Eastern Time, 10.15 local South Australian time, where my actual run will be happening, Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance Maxim Mode All Bosses, which is another run which has a long history of being very cursed at ASM. So we managed to overcome the Mr. Driller curse tonight. We're going to see if we can make sure that that one goes well. It'll be a good watch. Check it out. Awesome stuff. Thank you very much, Pitchy. Thank you very much, everyone. We'll be back right in a few seconds with Evoland. Stick around.